Thanks, Frank. This is so important. Whether you are in a rec league or hitting the trails, outdoor summer activities come with an increased risk of injury. Registered nutritionist Leanne Phillipson is here to help us heal from those injuries and avoid infection. This is really important because you want to so get back important. to feeling normal soon. As quickly as possible. Yeah. You don't want to be laid up all summer long with yeah. if you've had a scheduled or an emergency operation. There's so much trauma that goes on if you've had a fall or anything like that. And so you'll let's expediate it for us we'll naturally. Expediate it. So let's talk first. First of all, about managing pain and inflammation. You're going to get your meds from your doctor. You're going to do all of that. Do not underestimate the power of food. Mm -hmm. That's like the key takeaway today. They work in tandem, They right? do work in tandem. So a few things that really you can add in to help, help inflammation and speed up the healing as well. So apple cider vinegar. Not the tastiest thing if you're having it straight up. However, apple cider vinegar, some lemon and collagen mm. into a mug every morning. It's not the best, I know, but it does. It's so alkalizing for the body. It's incredible for the cells. Okay. It just, How much uh, collagen and cider vinegar do you so need? So two tablespoons, two tablespoons, uh, two tablespoons spoons really easy and put it water. into warm water and drink it every single day for inflammation inflammation and also for for healing as well okay. over here I've got uh, just a salad dressing with some apple cider vinegar and every single morning beet juice mm -hmm. with turmeric curcumin is just it's one of the new things to take for any kind yeah. of inflammation ginger there are some curcumin pills down there you can take that every single day and studies that are going on are starting to show how it helps so many things from depression all the way through to any type of inflammation at all and it's a spice now do you leave the beet skin on because you I just do. throw the beets in straight like that. through just wash straight it. through okay yeah so here we've got more about healing from the inside and out so again back to the food you've got to have greens you've got to have some good protein here I make this all all the time. This is bone broth. You know what's interesting? I recently saw that they now sell bone broth that you can just drink, drink like that it. and people exactly. are doing it yes. rather than a soup. Yeah. When I make this myself, I leave all the fat in there and I don't put any salt. This came out of my freezer yesterday. Actually, I always have some chicken noodle soup at the ready just in case. You never know. When you don't feel great, so some soup, some warming soup is so, so healing. Here I've got a smoothie that I have every single day. You can add in some coconut water, put in those chia seeds and also those hemp seeds and then also lots and lots of vitamin C. Okay. From the inside out, out. you can I've got some amazing topical creams if you end up with a scar or anything like that, but it also has to come from the inside out. That's mm -hmm. where all of our cells are rebuilding. That's where the collagen comes in. That's where the vitamin C comes okay. in. Also here, I've got some castor oil. This is a pack that you put on any wound. You can put it over your liver if you want to cleanse overnight too. Oh, really? And it is so healing. It increases white blood cells. So, so how this does that is, work? I've never so seen So this that. is just a, an old like receiving mm -hmm. blanket. Yeah. It's completely saturated in the oil, so I've got it on my fingers now. This is a bag just so that it doesn't drip everywhere. You put that over any kind of injury, hot water bottle on top of it, and you just lay there and, and rest. Okay. Okay. Here we've got just colorful foods every single day. This has to be a part of your diet. Eat the rainbow. You've got to eat the rainbow. I always say that. And then let's say that you've had antibiotics because there's some possibility of infection uh, over the summer months there's a 26 percent increase in post-operative infection oh, really? so we've really got to be be mindful of that there's yeah. no particular reason why but a study hmm. I found said that probiotics the human strain of probiotics after you finished the 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 course of antibiotic therapy that you're on and then over there I have a probiotic which withstands the effects of probiotics so there's different strains you've got to talk to your naturopath nutritionist anyone like that to make sure sure that you're taking the right one at the right time. All of your fermented foods, I've got some kombucha, kombucha here, which are amazing. So all of this, and you were mentioning kefir earlier, do all of those kind of things, but the human strain has to also go in. Okay, so it's extra So strong. immune boosting, immune boosting, and you'll find all this information I've just put together, a post-operative and injury program, you'll find that on SprouteRight.com. For your gut health. For, for everything, everything okay. across the table, because obviously this is really quick, and people are thinking, yeah. I want to ah, do all of this, and I want to do And it's so much to absorb in the morning. It is so much. So okay. really, I've broken it down, meal plans, all sorts of eat this, do this now, do this now, week by week by week, all the way through. Thank you for doing the work for us. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Here's to good health. Over to you, Mel.